Hello everyone, welcome back to my video series on uh, Embedded System. Uh, this is Digital Electronics Part 2. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, logic gates uh, and describe how they could be used to build a binary adder. Now, a binary adder is a digital logic circuit. It's capable of adding binary numbers, basically the two types of uh, adders. One is a half adder, the other one is a full adder. Here is a um, schematic diagram of a half adder. Basically, it consists of a exclusive OR or XOR and an AND gate. Uh, there are two uh, inputs, input A and B. And the outputs are a sum and a carry. And you can represent the half adder with a block diagram like this. Now, uh, to describe uh, the operation of a half adder, I'm going to make use of this truth table here. Um, let's go through, through the uh, truth table. So, with, uh, on the left hand, side are the inputs A and B and on the right hand side are the outputs sum and carry. So when um, A is 0, B is 0, let's write them down here, A is 0, B is 0 and the sum is a 0. So sum 0 and there is no carry, so carry is a 0. Let me just erase this. And um, the next combination we have A0, B1. So A0, B is a 1. We add them up. And so we get a result, a sum of 1. So 1. And there's no carry, so carry is still 0. All right. Next, next we're going to look. A is one, B zero. Add them up. So sum is a one, and the carry. There's no carry, so it's a zero. Now for the last combination, we have A is one, B is one, so. Uh, as you recall from my previous video, the sum would be a zero. Yep. And this time we have a one as a carry. So carry is a one. And so basically that's the uh, operation of a half adder. Now, the full adder basically consists of uh, two half adders. So this is one of them and the second one and it also has a OR gate and the full adder has three inputs input A, B and a carry in or C in and the outputs are a, a sum and a carry out, C out. And here I've uh, repeated the uh, schematic of the full adder and also I've included the block diagram of a full adder here. So let's go through the operation uh, of a full adder. So using this truth table uh, on the left hand side I have the inputs and on the right hand side I have the outputs. So um, So when A0, B0, we'll write them down, down here, A0, B0, so we add them. Now this is only a partial sum, so the sum, partial sum is a 0. We need to add C in, so to complete the uh, addition. So you add the C in, which is a 0, the sum is still a 0. So sum is zero and there is no carry, so carry out is a zero. 
let me erase this and uh, the next one I have a0 b0 right and the partial sum is a zero and this time c in is a one so we need to add that in so it's the sum is now a one no carry so sum is a one uh, and carry out is a zero okay so the next one a zero b is one a zero B is one. So, oops, wrong. Um, B is a one. So, add. So the partial sum is a one. And this time the carry in is a, a zero. So we add them. The sum is still a one. And no carry. So carry zero. Next one, A0, B1, A0, B1, partial sum is A1, and this time the carry in is a 1, so we add a 1, and the sum is a 0, alright, 0, and we've got a carry, so C out is a 1. Right now, the next one we have A is a one, B is a zero. A is one, B is zero. Partial sum is a one. C in is a zero. So we have still have a one for the sum. So sum is one, no carry. So C out is a zero. The next one, A is 1, B is 0, A is 1, B is 0, partial sum is 1, and uh, this time C in is a 1. So add them up, sum is a 0, generate a 1, a carry, so sum is 0, carry C out is a 1. Oops. Supposed to get the eraser. Yep, got it. Right, so next one A is 1, B is 1. So A is 1, B is 1. So it's 0, carry a 1. Now, not forgetting C in here, so we need to add it in. So we have 0 for sum. Don't forget the carry. So we have sum is a 0, and we got a carry. And then the last combination, we have B A1, sorry, B is 1, so A is 1, B is 1. So the sum is a 0, carry a 1. And not forgetting C in, we add that in this time. 0 at 1 is a 1, bring the carry down. So we have a sum uh, is a 1, and the carry it's also a 1. So see how it's a 1. And basically that's the operation of a full adder. Now, we can um, make a 4-bit binary adder by let me get my pointer, um, by cascading 4 full adders. Um, if you look at this particular full adder here, I call it FA. Um, basically it's the same as the block diagram uh, from my, from the previous uh, uh, slide. Uh, all I did here is to rearrange the uh, inputs and the outputs. So uh, a 4-bit adder, basically you would have four full, four full adders. Now the inputs is, um, for this one here is A0, which is this one here, A1, a2, A3. 
and uh, B0, which is this one here, B1 is this one here, B2 is this one, B3 is this bit here. And so if you add uh, 1 to a 0, the answer is a 1, 0 at 1, the answer is a 1, the sum is a 1, 0 at 1, sum is a 1, and 1 at 1 is a um, sum is a 0, carry out or C out is a 1. Now I summarize all the operation here with this little table here. Basically, it's, this is the same as this one, this is the same as this, this is the same as this, this is the same as this. And you, if you go through the addition, 1 at 0 is a 1, 0 at 1 is a 1, 1 at 0 is a 1, 1 at 1, 0, carry a 1. So basically that's the operation of a 4-bit binary adder. Now before I finish off this video, uh, I'd like to show you how you could make an 8-bit binary number. Basically you cascade 4 additional um, full adders and you would have an 8-bit uh, binary adder. Now these concepts that I've talked about, they are important for future videos. Um, so that's all I need to do, uh, that I want to do for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.